Good evening. It is uh, uh, June 5, 2024, and it's a Wednesday. Here in Sherbrooke. It's currently 23 degrees Celsius. It is 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it hasn't rained yet today, but uh, still might be a chance. We're going to check that out in a moment. The sun this morning rose at 5 a.m., and it will set soon in 33 minutes at 8.32 p.m., it's a total of 15 hours and 32 minutes of sunlight. And I do not recall um, if that is more or equal to yesterday. I don't remember. I do still believe that the days are getting long. They're not getting short, which is fantastic. Let's see if it's going to maybe rain. I had, a, I had a big day today. Not, not that much happened, but I did accomplish several things that I wanted to get accomplished. And I'm proud of myself. It's not supposed to rain for the rest of the night. We uh, missed the rain. I did go to the grocery store earlier, although I knew it was going to be very busy. Um, after I went on a hike, I went up Mount Bellevue. It was very hot, and I went down to the entrance on Gold Street, I got west, and came back up. Did not do the, you know, going up the mountain twice because it's getting pretty tired. Um, but yeah, on my way home, I decided, like, I'm not going to go to the grocery store because I might start raining and I'm not going to be motivated to go back out if it's raining. Uh, but it uh, did not rain. I got a loaf of bread, which cost $5.39, which is absolutely insane. I got a guilty pleasure of mine, carbonated water. It's a waste of money, and uh, it's bad for the environment, and it's a nice way to fill my body with even more microplastics. I love it. Now it's melted just a little bit too much, but I got a couple of uh, squeaks of when it was... I lived in it for too long, and it was... Uh, it got frozen. And if you defrost it a bit, there's little chunks of ice left. It's really pleasant. It's a pleasant sensation. Um, but one thing I noticed at the grocery store um, is I don't think I'm ever... I mean, I don't, I don't know how I'll feel in the future, but it's impressive at this point in my life that I, I, I still can't, like... I'm still in awe of how bad people are at queuing. I have a lot of anxiety, and I have anxiety in stores often, especially grocery stores. Um, I like rules in public, because then I know how to navigate stuff, and then stuff just gets done efficiently. Um, I know some, like, of course there are people who, they like going shopping, and they like going to the grocery store and taking their time and looking at all the products. I had a roommate. Um, who was like that. I don't want to be in there. It stresses me out. And so, I just want to get in there, and I want to grab the items that uh, I have already planned on getting. For the most part, of course, I will, like anybody, uh, buy uh, things that were not on my list. But make a plan, I know I'm going to get there, and people are just... It's really a spatial awareness issue, but to me it gets particularly difficult when people don't queue in a logical fashion. Um, if you're gonna like queue in a way, that, anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It was just sort of frustrating and like, okay, so I was going to the self checkout area, but it was very busy and one of them was broken. And so there was this man who was waiting with his uh, shopping cart. And so, in the space between uh, where that man was standing and then the uh, start of the uh, like end caps of the aisles was a width of, like, I don't know, a shopping cart and a half, maybe a shopping cart and three quarters. So, enough space for, you know, one shopping cart. And maybe if people squeeze two shopping carts to go by, uh, which is logical. It's like, 
It sucks to have to wait in line, but it sucks even more to be blocking people's path. And so what I did, the only fucking logical thing to do is I went to the side of this guy. I went next to him. Because there was a bunch of space to wait next to him. And obviously, I was waiting in line since the other check stands that were past me were not open. There was nobody there. I mean, that's why there were such huge lines. There weren't enough check, excuse me, check stands open. I don't know why I apologize for that burp and not the other two that I did before. It doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> I'm not sorry. And this fucking lady just, instead of going behind me, because there's also the fact that, like, the way the story is oriented, there was, like, a natural flow towards the exit, right? And so I just, yeah, I just positioned myself next to this guy, which doesn't make me a fucking genius. Like, it just, it's logical, because I don't want to block. The, literally, literally the only way, unless you go around the aisles, to just navigate the fucking store. And this lady just goes to the shopping cart and gets behind this guy. And there's, like, like you know, the, people with, like, the very smaller shopping carts were able to, like, sort of, like, squeeze in between her. And what's even worse is, like, now, now she's seeing that, um, sorry, my hard-boiled eggs have chilled for long enough. Um, what was I saying? It's like, how can you be so spatially unaware that, like, you're clearly blocking people? It's not the worst. The worst to me, just because it happens so frequently, seriously, is people, I don't know why this kid, like, Calvin complains tonight, but, like, it's when people will, like, get their shopping cart, go into the entrance, and usually, in grocery stores, right beyond the entrance, there's going to be a display. Probably just basic psychology, like, you put stuff that you want to sell there, it's the first thing people are going to see, right? It's usually, like, uh, uh, fruit, at least in this grocery store, it's, like, fruit or tomatoes or, like, because the fruit and vegetable section is right there, which I believe it usually is in, like, most big grocery stores. Anyway. The amount of people who will just, like, get in there and then just go beyond the sliding doors and just stop right in the entrance. And this is where you make a game plan. This is where you start to plan it out. You had all this time beforehand. Or if you don't know what you're doing, just get out of the fucking way. It's so infuriating. It's so infuriating. But anyway, um, before going on the hike, I made a... Then disappointment, which is something I've been putting off for years because I didn't have any money. But now, um, I hadn't been taking, uh, my, my teeth are fucked up, but, and I hadn't been taking care of my teeth because I was just neglecting my hygiene. Um, and so now I've got gingivitis, and uh, it's worrying me. Um, I probably had it before, but like now it's gotten worse, um, and, uh, and that sucks. So I'm going on Friday. Uh, which is great. Um, and then also, for my boss needed help, or like my friend who was my ex boss, venue that I worked at, uh, I want to help with something, and I was able to help, or I will be able to help him out, which feels really good because I love him. Um, and yeah, so I'm pretty exhausted. It doesn't seem like much, but I also like, took a long hike in the hot sun. That makes me eat. Then I hard boiled those eggs. I like forgotten about these eggs and were almost. I mean, they were getting there. So now, uh, nice and hard boiled, they will last a bit, uh, a bit longer. Um, today I'm thinking about the song "No One There" by Terminal Eleven. I was reminded of Terminal Eleven because Terminal Eleven put out a video for a song from his most recent album today. I'm not going to talk about that time. It's a good song, but I prefer his older work. He seems, what I've read, he seems a lot happier now doing what he's doing. Because he was using uh, just computers before, and now he's using a lot of hardware stuff, so it's much more inspirational to him. But this is a great album called With My Mind, which I believe is from 2014. Yep. No. Yes, 2014. 
I believe May of 2014, so a little over 20, or sorry, 10, 10 years ago. Anyway, great album. Uh, this track is a highlight. No one there. It's the penultimate track. And it's long. And it might not be for you, but it's just one of those complicated electronic music songs that I so adore. Lovely complicated uh, electronic music songs like Nation Snares and Apex Queen and Odd Tech, or just like the complicated stuff. The way I um, like to think of it is it's sort of like more a uh, sculpture than a song, but like a sculpture that like um, exists through, uh, through time rather than like space. So it's sort of like you're just like scanning through these like textures and rhythms and melodies. They're just very complicated and they're always shifting. So it's sort of like an abstract sculpture. Um, and this one is like this. It, it does take until like the final third of the song for it to really like kick off and get really groovy. But everything before there, I think is necessary. Um, I don't know if you're gonna like it, but uh, I'm a big fan of Terminal 11 and especially this album. Check it out uh, later tonight. Wait, the sun's almost, almost down. I mean, almost. Yeah, it's on its way. Another 22 minutes. It's going to go down to 19 degrees Celsius. Not going to go down much. It is a 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow. Let me check my calendar. It's nice to have like things on my calendar. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to go play Magic the Gathering. Um, the final day of um, the modern format before the pre-release of all the cards that uh, I will acquire from the pre-release will not be legal until Friday after that. But in any case, I can't be there on uh, Thursday the 13th because I am working. Um, I've got some um, stuff Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, and I'll probably be working also a little, little gig on, on Friday. So like, that's that's great. I feel good. I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. I'm gonna get those hard boiled eggs out of the water. You can soften the shells too much. Um, I was able to appreciate the beautiful blue skies and the golden sunshine all along the way today. I hope you are as well. Um, oh, by the way, speaking of that uh, phrase, David Lynch is going to come out with a new album with Krista Bell, who he's collaborated with before and uh, acted in Twin Peaks of Return. She was great in that, and she's got a beautiful voice. And listen to the song, and it's really good, and I might talk about it tomorrow. I'm not sure. But check that out, as was uh, predicted by some uh, fans of both David Lynch and Krista Bell. Uh, there's, in fact, a collaborative album coming out. Um, and yeah, I wanted to talk about Coach Whips, because I was talking about... Oh, I, I was watching Coach Whips last night. And Coach Whips is, like, the... Um, like... It is a distillation of the essence of rock and roll done in this, like, beautiful way. Especially live. They, they broke up a long time ago, but John Dwyer, um, since then, uh, has been... Uh, working hard on DLCs, which is one of the greatest live bands of all time, I believe. Um, go see, see them if you can. But yeah, I saw this video from South by Southwest in 2014 um, on the Sailor Jerry Rum channel of this, I forget which song it was, but just look up a Coach Whips Live and you'll see it, South, South by Southwest 2014. It's this absolutely absurd performance. It sounds awful, <laughs> but... Like, the keyboard player, her keyboard is inside of a plastic garbage bag. It's because there's so many people so close, just, like, fucking going insane and throwing their beer everywhere. It's crazy. It's crazy. I've never seen that before. Like, I, I think I might want to do that at some point. <laughs> just have her keyboard, like... And, yeah, like, John Dwyer would sing in these um, uh, repurposed, like, telephone uh, receivers which allegedly they would steal from every hotel they'd stay at. They would just steal the phone. Uh, and this inspired me, actually, during a performance, even 
2020, the Shazam Fest, uh, to do this. I soldered one to a, a jack. And um, I put it on like a, a mask, like a cloth mask, um, which uh, that video is available on YouTube. Um, anyway, so I was thinking about that. But also last night as I was coming back from my meeting, which was really, really good. I was listening to the song The Present Tense by Radiohead. I won't talk about this week. Such a beautiful song. One of Radiohead's best. Anyway, gotta go grab those eggs. Everyone, have a great night.